Hey there. This is a visualization of how the Bayesian inference algorithm multinest evolves a set of live points towards areas of higher and higher likelihood within a given parameter space for a given model. Uh, this in particular is using uh, Planck 2015 power spectrum data, particularly the temperature power spectrum data, uh, to constrain the standard cosmological parameters as well as an additional parameter which represents the strength of a neutrino interaction uh, beyond the standard model of particle physics that is meant to help to explain uh, the presence of neutrino mass. So as we can see here we've got a pretty much uniform distribution of points in this parameter space. This is a three-dimensional cross-section of a seven-dimensional, uh, that is, seven-parameter model. Um, and as you can see from the axes, we have tau, the optical depth to reionization, as, the scalar amplitude, and ns, the scalar spectral index. Uh, these are common cosmological parameters. And then the colors of these points here represent the strength of neutrino interaction. So red corresponds to strongly interacting neutrinos, and blue, or the cooler colors, corresponds to weakly interacting neutrinos. So we're going to see how this plays out. Starting from a rather uniform distribution, we can see that the points uh, begin to evolve, and you're going to see that the axes here uh, are going to zoom in with the set of points, so try and keep an eye on how that is going to evolve, and how multi-nest kind of picks out the areas of higher and higher likelihood and just how much it zooms in for each of these axes. So you can see that we're starting to uh, generate some of the degeneracies that are common between the three parameters I've chosen for these axes. Uh, and we're kind of seeing a representation of changing in color along this region. We have strongly interacting neutrinos over here and weakly interacting neutrinos over here. So there's kind of a delineation that's coming up. Uh, this, uh, the way the multi-nest works is it takes a single point, uh, the least likely point that it has in the parameter space at the time, uh, throws it out and then it continually evolves, it continually evaluates, sorry, uh, points in the parameter space until it finds a point that has liar, higher likelihood than the uh, point that you just threw out. And it does this continually until it evolves to uh, smaller volumes of the parameter space. So you can see that I'm doing the same thing here, except I'm using, uh, I'm throwing out a lot more than one point at a time, just for the sake of time. Uh, but it's the same, same general idea. So we can see that we're getting uh, a strongly uh, dense mode over here with weakly interacting neutrinos. This basically corresponds to the standard uh, model, the standard lambda CDM model, so that's something we expect to see. And then we're going to see how this evolves further. So we expect, uh, at least the fiducial model would be to just uh, assume that this standard model is going to be the only thing that shows up in the end. But we might be pleasantly surprised and see that we're kind of developing these two different modes. And we'll see that these develop two distinct modes, uh, which are going to become clearly separated within the next few steps. There we go, they're pretty clearly separated. So we can see we have two separate modes, one a strongly interacting neutrino mode and one the standard cosmological model. And you can see uh, if you're comparing the, uh, the parameters for the scalar perturbations uh, in the early universe, that would be AS and NS, these are the things that are really changing um, between these two models. Um, which you can see upon inspection of these, these modes. 
So now multi-nested is going to keep on going and keep on finding areas of smaller and smaller likelihood, uh, or sorry, the, yes, smaller likelihood and making these points into uh, smaller volumes of the parameter space. And so we can see that this is getting smaller and smaller, again watching the axes, and denser and denser. To our surprise, we are actually getting a quite dense model, uh, quite dense mode in the um, strongly interacting neutrino case, which is the surprising part. Uh, and they're almost equally weighted in the very end of the model. So, hope you enjoyed this visualization, and uh, thanks for watching.